I am from New Jersey. A lot of people that live in my area work in New York. So you have the slow pace of New Jersey and beaches, but um, you see New York in the distance and you, uh, you know the, the workflow of New York. I'm kind of a designer and a developer. Um, I, I went to school for, for business. I minored in, in philosophy and computer science. After that, I went to uh, a code school. And uh, so, yeah, I learned my first language after that. And I, I worked small gigs because I really knew like that's what I wanted to do. Just kept coding on the side. And that led into, you know, kind of realizing I like design too. I kind of like enjoy the full process of creating products. I, I had come here for a couple of years and not years straight, I would, I would kind of live here seasonally and go, go home to New Jersey and make a little bit more money and come back and, and then I went back last year and got a really good job at um, a startup called Jet.com and it was, uh, it was like the highest seed rented, uh, seed funded um, company, I think in, in the US at least, maybe China has a higher seed round company but uh, it was it was as, as awesome as startups go you know all the perks and and uh, all the hype and I mean marketing wise we were probably spending more on marketing than anywhere so it was really fun and exciting to like see everywhere we would have Penn Station all decked out and uh, in billboards and it was really cool and awesome and I loved the experience and the learning part of being in a company that's on that just rapid growth stage is, you can't teach that. I mean, there was Harvard Business School was coming in to learn. It was like, you really need to be in that situation to learn. There's no, no college. There's no way anybody can teach that with actually, without actually being in it. So yeah, I, I came back down here and it's actually worked out great. In the past two months, I've, I've been uh, in contact with one of the Google Ventures guys and been, on, been placed on their website for a little uh, kit I made and the Apple Developer Conference. I'm working on an app that was just in the, uh, the WWDC like ending credit video. So it's very different choice of which route you want to go but I think as long as you really if you love the work you're doing and you really like follow that instinct you have it's gonna work out either way so I actually first heard about Skyloft um, I met Elion at the first or maybe it was like the second Silicon Beach meeting he had, which was up at his friend's house. Um, the Skyloft hadn't been built yet, but he was talking about co-working spaces and um, told me about it, how he's gonna you know, build the space above his house. And I really didn't have to see the vision of it for, for it um, originally, but when I saw it in person, it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, I think he did it awesome from everything. It's a, it's a really cool spot to, to meet people working in any industry um, from many different places in the world. <laughs> so while I've been at Skyloft, I've been creating a little um, course that you can check out at uh, traveldeveloper.com. Um, so I'm basically going to teach the very basics of HTML, setting up websites on WordPress, doing SEO, um, uh, as I've kind of done for the past few years, uh, travel freely and you know make enough money to get by while I traveled and experienced new locations and met tons of people. So I'm hoping maybe some people take this course and realize they can do the same thing. Silicon Beach kind of thought is maybe like the next evolution of uh, 
of workplace. Um, I've read a lot of interesting articles about how, like the number of freelancers is just growing astronomically. Um, I think by 2025, I read there's going to be like a billion freelancers in the world. I think, uh, you know, the startup company setting has kind of pushed people out of the, the industrial revolution setting of workplace, you know, nine to five, do your certain tasks, like come in for those hours and repeat, repeat, get it done. The startup flow is shown, you know, to disrupt those industries. You have to have people that want to be a little bit more creative and to get those creative juices, you know, flexible work hours and having all these little perks of, uh, you know, cool office space and I think uh, flexibility is just becoming even more and more uh, one of the largest perks that like anybody that works wants. It's becoming just rapidly easier to to be able to work from anywhere. Um, there are places around the world where like the the digital nomad uh, scene is just much greater than here right now, and there are communities where you know events and uh, just passing of work is much greater. There like have. Uh, co-working spaces that are filled, you know, with a few hundred people. And, um, I can see that happening here because this area is still not as big. Um, it's, I mean, there was nothing here 15 years ago and it's kind of rapidly grown and yeah, I could, I could definitely see this area becoming much bigger. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>